Hello guys, almost addicted here and today we're going to build this oriental garden or Japanese garden. Make sure you leave a like on this video, it really helps motivate me. And uh, leave a comment down below if you would like me to build a Japanese house. I could do it block for block or I could do it as a time lapse. It depends on what you guys think. Comment down below what you would like. And if you consider subscribing, make sure you hit that bell button because it gives you all notifications for all my new videos. And not many people are getting notifications from my videos, so yeah. And I will leave down in the description a special house that will be perfect with this garden. So make sure you check out in the description. So without further ado, let's build this Japanese garden. Okay, so I started off with a base of 21 times 21. And then around it, I just added some trapdoors. And then for the next step, what I did is I got some sandstone stairs and I trimmed it around and just took out loads of places where I could place water and sand. It can be completely random. It can be in whatever space you like. And then the next step, what I did was trimming up the edges to make it look a little bit more nicer, adding some bamboo around the area. And I also used some of the sugar cane as well. For the next step, I decided to trim it up a little bit more and then start adding a little tiny bridge. The bridge is just using slab of the spruce with a little bit of the acacia trapdoors just to complete it. It's really simple. And same with the acacia fences to put the entrances into the Japanese garden with some sandstone and just some of the fence and gates just to make those tiny little trap doors. Then added a little bit of trap doors with the stone and the lantern on top just to make like a little structure and then just little bits of glass added around with lanterns on of different colors so it kind of looks like those um, lanterns floating off into the air uh, the next step i just added some bushes and made sure that i could have like a little maze kind of so you had to like walk around it have space around maybe little bits of lanterns here and there and then i added some buttons for stones and stuff and then for the next step I just added another lantern which is like a redstone torch with a redstone lamp and some banners around it and then I just started to add little chairs around I mean you can make whatever chairs you like little bits of stone added around the area you can make this as random as you like and then I started building on flowers and just little bits of detail like that just any plants and flowers just to add that little bit of color and then I added some fences with some carpet on for little trees and then I just completed it with some pink um, is it coral and then the coral turns white when it's out so I just added that around and I think it really completed the look so yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video you got a little bit of inspiration from it but as I say I'm going to do a full block for block tutorial on maybe a big house if you guys want it but I kind of wanted to get a little video out on the weekend. I wasn't going to put a video out on the weekend, but I just thought I might as well put a little bit of inspiration out there for a garden. Hopefully you got something from it and you slap a like on the video. And yeah, I shall see you in the next video.